Whoa, cool car, huh? Hey guys, it's your boy T Stingray here, and I have a challenge for you guys. I am trying to reach 100,000 subscribers, and I need your help. Now all you have to do is leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to click that post notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I go live or whenever I post a video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this video. What is going on guys, it is your boy T Stingray and welcome back to another Driving Empire or Wait For It video guys. Today we are going to be comparing the brand new front wheel, rear wheel and all wheel drive uh, mechanics that they added to this game to see if it makes a big difference in races guys. But before we get started be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this and don't forget to click that post notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I go live and post a video and you guys can see I'm in my Apollo IE we got some friends right here I love that brand new 63 right here the SVJ 63 and as you guys know I had the 63 before I'm not even sure if I still have it and I think I sold it but I'm gonna be honest with you I know I had the SV but now that they changed the SVJ to the SVJ 63 I might just have to buy that for another video. Oh my gosh, I just got carjacked on my own vehicle. <laughs> what is going on, my boy? Let me in. Let me in. So guys, today I'm using the Apollo IE as a perfect example of the new drivetrain system that they added to this game, guys. Basically, you guys can change your car to a front-wheel drive, a rear-wheel drive, or an all-wheel drive. If you guys don't know what that means, basically it kinda, the name kind of says it for itself, guys. If it's a front-wheel drive, that means only the front wheel is going to be spinning uh, as you drive, and then the back wheel just kind of goes along with it. But uh, that means there's no power towards the back. The real wheel drive, all the power is in the back and basically there's no power in the front just like a regular car or a lot of regular cars. And then of course the all wheel drive is power to all the wheels making, you know, for you to take off a lot faster and to turn corners a lot quicker. So we're going to be testing all of these things in the drag strip first guys first we're gonna try the front wheel drive because i honestly do not like front wheel drive because i feel like it'll make a car slower i don't know i feel like it's going to like cut off a lot of the power on the car so that's why we're using the apollo oh my gosh i got disconnected why all right before we were rudely interrupted as you guys can see i have the front wheel drive on the Apollo IE and you guys can see only the front wheel is spinning and not the back just because that's what we have on right now I feel like the car goes a lot slower with front wheel drive that's what I feel like so we're gonna test it out right now we're gonna go race against a what is that a Stradale yeah that looks like a Ferrari Stradale right there we're gonna go race against them and see what the time is on the front wheel drive I feel like it's gonna be a little bit slower we're also gonna go to the track guys because I want to test out the all wheel Oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> Whose car is this on top of mine? Okay, here we go. This looks pretty cool, I guess. Come on, three, two, one, go! Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, the Ferrari is fast! Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Okay, 8.5 seconds, guys. And I gotta tell you, this car is fully maxed out. As you guys can see, we have the drag engine in everything so we have this fully maxed out but as you guys can see we finished the race in 8.5 seconds which is like super slow compared to what this used to do so we're gonna go ahead and change this to the let's go let's change it to the real wheel drive next and see if that'll make it faster and as you guys can see only the real wheel drive is now spinning and not the front wheel that means you guys can do a lot drifts like you can do a drifts with rear wheel drive you can't drew drifts with an all wheel or a front wheel only a rear wheel that's it that's the fun thing about rear wheel drives in this game guys is you can drift around but the other cars not really all right here we go guys we're trying to be 8.5 seconds maybe we'll go a little bit faster here ready go he said i love your vids thank you so much my boy oh gosh come on we're in first place but it's not about being first place it's about seeing how fast we finish 8.5 seconds so it's about the same with the rear wheel and the front wheel guys but now we're gonna try it with the all-wheel drive we're gonna see if that makes a big difference 
with this car because I feel like it will. I just feel like it does. But the rear wheel and the front wheel makes no difference just because we have like one power on the wheel or in the front wheel or the rear wheel, not all of it. So let's go ahead and change it real quick. Then this is probably the way you guys will win every race out there is by switching it to all wheel drive. So if you guys want to, you know, hit, get some uh, tips and tricks on how to win every drag race, change your wheels to all wheel drive right now. Here we go, guys. We are going with the all wheel drive option now. Five four three and we should see a big difference here go 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 oh my gosh here we go here we go let's finish in less than 8.5 seconds and boom we finish in 8.1 guys that's the honestly it's not a big big difference but that could really change the game a lot guys like 8.1 seconds versus 8.5 a big difference. We, I mean, we could have won against the other car if we had all-wheel drive. So if you guys really want to upgrade your car, change it to the all-wheel drive. I, I believe the Bugatti Bayron in here is already all-wheel drive. That's why it's like super fast. Like I'm gonna show you guys a difference on uh, real-wheel drive versus all-wheel drive with the Bayron, guys. Here's a Bayron right here. I'm gonna guess that he has all-wheel drive on right now. So, we'll go against these two right now. Here we go, guys. I am going against a Bugatti with all-wheel drive. So, we got to see. I mean, I'm not sure if he's fully stocked, but we're doing real wheel right now. Go. Oh, gosh. Look at that. He takes off. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys see that? What? Whoa. We finished super slow. And that's because he has all-wheel drive, guys. Usually, that's what all Bugattis have. That's why you guys always have an all-wheel drive. Did you guys see how fast he took off? Oh, my goodness. That was insane. But if you guys want to drift around your Bugatti, of course, go ahead and switch it to a real-wheel drive. But if you guys are about to do drag races, switch it to all-wheel, man. Here we go, guys. This is for all-wheel drive. Let's just see how fast this goes. Oh my goodness. Look at the takeoff with this Bugatti, guys. We just took off in six, wait, 7.1 seconds we managed to win. If you guys didn't remember, we finished with the real wheel drive at like at 9.1 seconds, which is insane, guys. Big difference when it comes to all wheel and real wheel. So we're going to go to the track right now, guys, and I want to see what the big difference is with in the circuit race with a all wheel and a real wheel because I feel like those two matter actually a front wheel maybe and then a an all wheel drive so we're gonna go to the circuit race right now and see who we can go against with and test out the new drive trains in here here we go guys we are in the circuit race and I just want to see if this Apollo performs a lot better with an all wheel drive usually it does man here we go here we go Usually all-wheel drive does a lot better in corners and it looks like the snow is gone So it looks looks pretty cool, but look at this guys. We're just killing the track already Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I always miss that one, but we didn't miss that one this time. Let's go. Let's go first place, baby Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Go 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 go. Oh gosh There we go. We, we seem like we're going off the track a lot but we gotta slow down on these corners and make sure we touch these checkpoints. But it looks like we're doing very well already with the all-wheel drive system, guys. I feel like this is a lot better than the real wheel, guys. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, I know the drifts is a lot better. But if you have all-wheel, you can con actually control your car a lot better. That's what the all-wheel drive is good for. Did I just miss a checkpoint? I just missed a checkpoint, my boy. Oh my gosh, we're about to lose. Wow. Okay, here we go. Come on, go, 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 go. We're not about to lose this, my boys. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're, we're, I know we're faster than that Huracan. So we might be able to catch up. No problem. No! No! It's always this turn right here. Oh, gosh. Bugatti's coming up. Go, 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 go. Okay, I think he missed it. Oh wow, this car is way too fast for the track. It's supposed to be a track killer too, but the turning in this is like super narrow. Here we go. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. It looks like we're still gonna finish at a pretty good time even though we messed up a lot. 
Here we go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We crashed into the wall. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 oh. Did I just win? Oh, I'm about to win. No way. Go, 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 go. Look, I'm faster than him. Way faster. Let's go, baby. We just won $35,000. And with all the mess ups, guys, we, sp we still managed to get finished in one 116 seconds which is insane but with all that brand new changes in driving empire guys i feel like this one is a pretty good one i honestly didn't think it was pretty cool at the very beginning but changing the drive trains is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie to you so if we wanted to go drifting guys we'll just switch it to real wheel drives and we're able to drift like super easy and if we want to win races just switch to the all-wheel drive and you guys will practically win everything guys because all-wheel has more power to the car pushes you a lot faster and it just is just a lot better guys I personally drive an all-wheel drive car and it, it's it's pretty fun and it's honestly just it, it destroys everybody out there but thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys learned something leave it in the comments down below what you guys learned and also guys, if you guys are brand new, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button because we are so close to 25,000 subscribers, guys. Thanks to you guys, we're so close to there. Click that post notification bell for more. I will see you guys in the next video and peace out.